Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Lord Jesus, help us to heed it and walk in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, we're in James chapter 5, verse 3, as well as James chapter 5, verse 2. All right, okay, verse 3. Your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. All right, so this gold and silver have corroded. So the things that um, we would normally put our wealth into, like our money is supposedly you know based upon gold but it's really a faith-based system but um it's it's backed by gold and backed by silver and they're saying that these precious metals these 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 metals that aren't supposed to really corrode are corroded right they're saying that the the system that our money and our wealth is based on is is somehow going to fall apart right and it says their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire because we know when stuff is corroded and you try to adorn yourself with it, it is going to cause your skin to have a reaction, right? So this is a tell on you, right? This is a telltale sign of how, where you put your money, of of where you invested, right? When, when, when the time comes for our others to look upon you, it, it's going to be, it's going to show where you were, where your mindset was, what you did with yourself, right? If you um, are wearing of something fake around your neck and it causes your neck to turn green and you, a rash breaks out and you take the necklace off and walk around, people will still be able to see that around your neck. People will still see that reaction. People will still, it, it will be evidence against you, right? And so it says you have laid up treasure in the last day. That's the tell it's going to say when when we stand before God, these things that we have invested um, money into and all these things, things, things are going to be the, the telltale on us that we did not invest money in the right places. I say we, but I won't be a part of this in Jesus name. But, um, uh, these things that are corroded and falling apart are are the evidence in the last day against the unwise bride, right? The one who has not put away her money in the r- proper place, right? We are to dedicate our time, our talent, and our time, the best parts of ourselves to um, the Lord, right? And to the poor and to working to build up the kingdom and not our own kingdom amen all right you guys um the next verse is verse two your riches have rotted and your garments are moth eaten so the things that you find valuable are are not even being turned over right usually things are rotten when you close them off somewhere and there's no circulation it's just sitting right? You're not doing what, um, you're not causing your, your talents or the things that are valuable, um, to, um, you're, you're not using them for God's glory. You're letting them sit and rot, right? So that's what the rotting, um, um, is and, and your garments are moth eaten so meaning when your garments are moth eaten they're just sitting they're sitting touching each other they have not been rotated they have not been aired out which means that they're not even being used properly as clothing they're just sitting sitting uh, clothing on clothing on clothing right and so that is how you know we we know this is how um people in America live day to day, 
right? Uh, it's just so many things, things upon things, garages full of things that you never touch, that you never use, you know, um, investing your money into things that will not give back to you, right? You get something in your house, you realize you really didn't even want it, or you get it and you put it on the shelf and it does not do anything. It does not get turned over. It does not get used. You don't give it to anybody else, right? And that is, um, the mindset um, that is here is that um, these riches and these these garments and these um, this wealth is not being used properly. It's not being distributed. It's just being laid up, and it is going to turn on the people as evidence against them. You know, like just like in a court of law. Um, when you have uh, these big drug dealers and they have these cars and this wealth and all these things, they have no means of justification of how they got these things. Those things that they have become evidence against them, right? So that in that same way, um, in the last days, um, it, it is going to do the same thing, right? All right. Um, and let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, we know that we live in the last days. Help us not to be a part of this, Lord Jesus. Help us to go in the other direction. Help us to make steps to run and flee from, from this, this temptation, Lord God. Help us to easily let go of things that you're telling us to let go of God help us to bless others with clothing help us to bless others with goods help us to bless others with food and in the excess that is in our house God the things that you want us to get rid of Lord show us the way we know that you are continuously speaking these things to us because we still have work to do and we, we say, yes, Lord, forgive us for our sins. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this. Forgive me for all my sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has entered you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. Um, he's going to help you walk out the calling that God has um, put on your life. So allow the Holy Spirit room to do those things and lead you and guide you into all truth. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word and talk to him. He is going to begin to talk back and speak um, in his still small voice. And you'll wonder, is that me? And you'll begin to learn to trust that voice because it will not lead you wrong. It'll tell you things to do. And little bit by little bit, you're going to go out and do them. And God is going to change your life. Um, yeah, the Holy Spirit is also going to lead you to a church home, a place where you can get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, as well as um, a place where you can be around other believers and stay sharp in the word of God. Um, the Holy Spirit is also going to lead you in learning how to make disciples of all men going out, telling other people about what Christ has done for you in your life. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.